hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel it has been like a hot minute since i like really picked up the camera properly and i just feel like i've been in kind of like a life slump like i originally thought i was in a book slump but then i just realized that like june was such a big month for me and i don't think i've got over it because now i have nothing like really really important to plan for because june was the heiress to her and my wedding and my honeymoon so it was just a lot in one month and I feel like now that that's all over I'm kind of like what do I do with myself because I was planning you know for a lot of those things for like a year and a half maybe beforehand so it's just it's a very very weird feeling but I really want to read and I want to dedicate time for the next week to read because whenever I realise like it's definitely not a book slump because I'm so excited to read I just feel like I don't have time because I'm all over the place so this week is about like getting back into routine and definitely dedicating time to books so I'm really really curious to see how many books I can actually like read in a week whenever I really dedicate the time to do it. I do obviously work so I've you know I can't read whenever I'm in work so it's definitely more of a realistic like how many books can I physically read in a week but also like while I have work as well. I am about to go to the gym because I'm trying to be more productive and just get a little bit of structure into my life so I do think that I'm going to bring my kindle to the gym. I'm kind of in the middle of a few books at the minute so I know on my Kindle I have Legendary which is the second book in the Caraval series but I just feel like I'm forgetting the names of everything I'm so I'm just not with it at the minute but I definitely started that I don't think I got far into it like maybe five ten percent so I would like to read that in the gym every few days I don't know if I'll gym every day probably not I like to tell myself that but it's not gonna happen so I do want to dedicate gym time with also reading so I'm just gonna do the treadmill that's why I have makeup and all on because I don't think I will sweat that much I genuinely just want to get close to my 10,000 steps for the day like that is the goal of the gym I am doing classes as well so I'm trying to like dedicate the classes to actually like doing workouts because I just find it a lot more motivating anyway so I'm going to bring the kindle to the gym and I'm also reading Reckless by Lauren Roberts which is the second book in the Powerless series, there was Powerful, which was the novella. And yeah, I would say I'm about 40% through in that book. And I don't know if I'm loving it. Like I am enjoying it. I think it's entertaining, but I am kind of confused with my thoughts because I just haven't had time to read. And every time I feel like I am dragging a book out, I almost blame it on the book, but it's definitely just life circumstances at the minute so if I dedicate more time to it this week I think I'll have more of an honest opinion on the book. I do think that Powerless was a lot better and I think a lot of people are saying that but this one is by no means not entertaining. It is, there's just nowhere near as much happening in it. I do think the writing's really nice. It's very lyrical at some points but I do also think that the writing might be like she's trying to be too creative sometimes and I don't know she's trying to distract us with her writing for the fact that not much is going on does that make sense but once I get reading into that more I will have more updates I'm gonna go to the gym now and read more of Legendary I'm definitely in a fantasy mood but like an easy fantasy not like you know something where I have to overly think about it like not something with a lot of world building and I already know the characters in both of these books so I'm hoping that that will really just motivate me to work to work to read those books anyway I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna treadmill for like 45 minutes and bring my book with me I got back from the gym about half an hour ago and I read some of Caraval I thought I was 10% into the book but I was literally 1% because I had read one chapter and obviously just never picked it up again. I don't even think whenever I read that chapter that I was planning on reading it. I think I was just curious to see how it started. I don't really know um, because it has been on my Kindle for like a year at least but I read some of that. I think I got to 11% in and I am really enjoying it. I think it just kind of throws you straight into the story. Sorry you can probably hear the pages rustling here but yeah I don't really have many updates because I'm only 11% in but as I said you're straight into the story like there is something happening straight away and I'm definitely curious to see where it goes and Jax the Prince of Hearts from the Once Upon a 
Broken Heart series. Does that actually have a name, that series? Am I being stupid right now? Um, anyway, he has now been mentioned because I know that he is in this book and that's obviously like where his character comes from, but I've never obviously read the Caraval series, even though it's technically first, but I absolutely loved um, Once Upon a Broken Heart and that trilogy. I am now reading more of Reckless and I am 150 pages into this and I was enjoying the first kind of bit of it, but I think this middle bit here is dragging on a little bit. I'm just finding myself getting quite bored and you know when you're reading a book and you're like looking at the words but your mind is just elsewhere like you're just thinking about other things like I've noticed that I'm doing that like I'm just thinking about completely different irrelevant things and I'm just like looking at the words but not taking them in I don't know I just feel like in the part that I'm at at the minute I could very easily skim a lot of it and still know what's going on so I don't really know how I'm fully feeling about it because I do love these characters and I love this world so much so it's just a bit it's a bit confusing my feelings on it because I do want to read more it's just mm, it's just a little bit boring at the minute but I'm hoping it picks up a little bit I mean it's not like the worst book in the world like I am finding it entertaining it's just there's just certain bits of it where I feel like are quite unnecessary I also don't really know how I'm feeling about the relationship between Kai and Peyton at the minute because they're kind of like they're meant to hate each other right and they do say that to each other but the way they describe each other like I know it's this whole thing where oh they secretly like don't hate each other but it's to the point where in their heads they're describing the other person as like literally like the love of their life and you do know that there is like a hatred there because they both hate what the other person did but it's just really confusing because it'll be explaining that and then it'll be like this really lyrical romantic like description of the other person and I just like I feel like I don't really know how to how to explain it because I understand what she's trying to do like they hate each other but they they also love each other like am I explaining that it just doesn't really I just feel like it doesn't make sense to talk that way about each other at this point because the way they are describing each other in each other's heads it's almost like like there's no room for hate if you know what I mean like it just I don't know there's one point where he is like ruin me and that line really icks me out like it really icks me out and I'm just like why did he say that like whenever he was just trying to kill her like what I don't know I don't want to talk about it, it's making me cringe. So I'm on day two of just seeing how much I can read in a week and I'm currently reading three books at the same time which was, I don't know, was it intentional? I, like it kind of was. So I am reading um, Legendary at the gym every morning. I did go again today which I'm like really proud of myself for because I didn't think that I would have the motivation to go again because after the class I did a few days ago I've just been like sore literally everywhere so I went there again today and walked on the treadmill for 45 minutes and I read more of Legendary and I am also still reading Reckless I honestly haven't read a lot of this one but I am also listening to the audiobook of What Lies Beneath Us I think that's the name of it by John Mars and that is a thriller which I am really really hooked on at the minute it is basically about this mum and daughter but the daughter has now grown up I think she's like 40 I would say but she's still living with her mum but her mum is like tied up in the attic by the daughter they're basically saying how they ended up in this position and there's so many things that's happened within their lives that just aren't normal do you know what I mean like I am really really curious to see like how she ended up like basically kidnapping her mum and like keeping her hostage um but I don't want to give anything away it is really really good I'm really enjoying the audiobook as well like the narrator in it is just amazing it has definitely given me like five star material at the minute I'm really you know it's gonna depend on how it ends obviously because I really I think a thriller should have a really good twist and something that I didn't see coming but I do have a few ideas for this one and I will let you know if any of my predictions were correct hopefully I finish it within the next like two days audiobooks obviously take longer than like normally well for me anyway than just like reading a book I think it says there's like 
it's 11 hours in total and I think I'm halfway through. I'm also really really loving legendary i don't want to say too much about it because it will spoil the first one i guess we're basically just following the characters that are from the first book and they are entering the world of caraval again and as i said i think before Jax is in this book and i'm just so curious about this series because i feel like i do know the world a lot from the other like once upon a broken heart series so it is just really nice to get back into stephanie garber's writing and I'm really enjoying it. I, For some reason, I didn't think I would like this series, but honestly, in my opinion, it is so far just as good as Once Upon a Broken Heart. Like, her writing style is so whimsical, and I can really just imagine, like, everything that she is talking about. Reckless is still not that great, to be honest, and it's just going very, very slow for me. Not that the writing is bad or anything like that. Like, I can't really put my finger on it. I just feel like there's no... There's no exciting plot going on. It's just very, very slow in my opinion. I'm 200 pages or so into this and I really want to finish it, but I just find myself wanting to skim it and I'm getting so tired reading it. And I think it's because I'm just like, I am focused on it, but in a way where it's like, I need something to happen, but it's, it is disappointing me. It's not like a bad book at all. It's just, I think I went into this with higher expectations and i mean i don't think that is like ruining the book for me because i still think if i like didn't go in with any kind of expectations i still would have the same opinions on this book but it's just kind of disappointing because obviously the first one i loved so much it was one of the easiest five stars of last year so yeah i'm going to continue reading it and we'll just hope something happens this is currently the only place in the house with like kind of okay lighting it is about six o'clock now so i mean it's not even dark outside it's just dark in the house anyway i finished what lies between us by john mars that's the one that i was listening to on audiobook and i really really enjoyed it i think i kind of explained the concept already with the mum basically being stuck in the attic and there is it's a dual pov between the mum and the daughter and it also goes from past and present timelines to basically see how we got to this point and there's a lot of twists and turns in this book however i did guess the main twist and i guessed it pretty early on like i don't know i thought it was quite obvious i don't know if everybody else agrees but for that reason and that reason alone i gave it a four star instead of a five star if i didn't guess the twist i honestly think it would have been a five star i just love the way that john mars writes books like i mean I can't even say that much because that's literally the second book I've read by him but the first one was The Passengers and I loved that book so much. It really really like brought me into the thriller genre and yeah ever since then I have been reading more and more thrillers. I've just really fallen in love with that genre a little bit like I really love a good thriller especially if it has all the twists and turns like if a thriller is a five star it means that it completely caught me off guard but it also made sense i do hate whenever a thriller like it's a huge twist but it's also unrealistic like that just it makes no sense at all like it needs to make sense to the story and i just need to be completely like blindsided by it i know i said in this vlog it's going to be like me basically reading whenever i have the chance to and to be honest, I feel like I haven't fully done that because I could have read before bed a few times this week and I just decided not to. So from tomorrow, I am really, really going to try and read as much as possible. I am about to head out. This is the outfit. I don't know if you can overly see it, but I've basically just got like very baggy jeans on with this little top, which I've literally had since I was about 17 years old. I'm currently 24, so... You can do the maths on that one, but you know what? It is like, it's just a staple piece for me. And this little blazer and a pair of heels. I mean, oh my God, I don't know if any of you care about my outfit, but I am about to head out. And that means I obviously won't be reading. And I know for a fact I won't be reading whenever I get home tonight.
A's and I've only finished one book which I'm honestly like I just thought that I would have been able to read a little bit more this week but I have been reading I just think I'm definitely in like a little bit of a reading slump but again I think I said at the start of the video it's more like a life slump I'm just not I don't even know what it is. It's really weird because I'm in the mood to read and literally all I want to do is just sit down and read every single day but whenever I get home I'm so exhausted and I just feel like I'm not even over whatever illness I had last month. It was 100% that new strain of COVID like it must have been. I still have like symptoms of it and I just feel like ever since then I've just been knocked out basically but I am reading multiple books at the minute at the same time so I'm still reading Legendary which I really want to finish in this video. I'm just gonna, I think, wait where am I? I'm 46% into this book and honestly I just want to get home tonight at least get to like 60% and then maybe finish it tomorrow like that would be the most ideal thing for me so that I could at least say that I read two books. However, I did also start The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I don't know if I actually filmed anything. I feel like this video is kind of all over the place, but I did start this and I'm kind of going between the book and the audiobook. I'm listening to the audiobook whenever I'm in work doing like delivery stuff out the back. So I'm actually like able to listen to things, but I am absolutely loving this book so much. I think Reckless kind of put me in a slump to be honest. I haven't picked this one up in a while. I am 195 pages into this and I have been reading this book for like three weeks now. Like whenever I started this video I was maybe like 70 pages into it or something and it's just like do I carry on? I do want to carry on because I know I want to continue the series so I obviously need to know how it ends but it's just so slow. Like I can't I'm really disappointed and it's really really annoying because I did hear other people saying this but I just for some reason thought that I would enjoy it even though I heard literally everybody say that it is quite disappointing but yeah I just love Powerless so much and I loved Powerful the novella. I almost think that Powerful should have been like a novel in itself and this could have been a novella. Like this feels more like a novella than Powerful did because there's just not a lot happening and yeah. I'm quite disappointed but I do want to continue this book like I just want to finish it at this point so I mean maybe in the next two days I might just find loads of time to finish like all of these books but I don't know I really wanted to get like at least three books read this week but I guess this video was intended to be like a realistic how many books can I read in a week and I have read one I think I will finish The Nightingale if I listen to it while I'm just like doing other things and then I'm going to focus my reading on Legendary like whenever I actually want to sit down and read. So if I do that I may finish two more books. I don't know if I'll get to Reckless like I am off on Friday which is a few days away so I could dedicate that time to reading Reckless but that means it won't be in this video. I don't know. We'll see when we get to it. Let's just finish some of the books that we are enjoying at the minute. <laughs> into this video because I felt like I was in kind of like a life slump and I really wanted to read. I just felt like I wasn't giving myself the time to do that and the time to really like sit down and relax and actually just read a book. So this week was really nice because I got to read more than I was beforehand and it really got me back into my reading mood like I am now wanting to pick up books and yeah I felt like before I wanted to but I just was never in the right headspace to do that and I definitely feel like this week has helped me get back into the right mindset. So let's get into the books that we read this week. We did kind of start off reading multiple books. I was already kind of halfway through Reckless and I also had started Legendary, which I realized I only got 1% through. So I feel like I didn't really start that one. I read the first chapter about a year ago and just decided to leave it until this video, obviously. So I feel like I did start that, but I didn't really. And I also, or I think that was the two that 
I had started technically. Um, so we'll talk about those ones first. I actually finished Legendary last night, which was the last day of this week. And I really just wanted to get it finished for the video. But also I was really loving that book so much. Like I just feel like Stephanie Garber's writing is so magical and it literally feels like a fairy tale kind of fantasy. I really, really love how she writes and I'm excited to continue the series. Honestly, for some reason, I thought that I wasn't going to enjoy Caraval and the series of it. Oh, but I have been pleasantly surprised. Like I am really, really loving this series so much. It was really nice to see Jack's in this book as well, because I obviously have read the Once Upon a Broken Heart books and he is a big character in those books. So it was nice to see how he was kind of introduced to this world. I feel like, I mean, there is spoilers in Once Upon a Broken Heart too, I guess, legendary, but I kind of enjoyed knowing like certain things that were going to happen and kind of how I, like things pan out. Like I don't know the details of everything, but I do know certain things about like Jax's character and um, Tella's character as well. But I really feel like that didn't ruin anything for me. It almost made the reading experience better because it was kind of just like I, it was satisfying knowing because I don't even know how to explain it because I just feel like the things that are revealed aren't like huge twists. Maybe they are, but just because I know them, they didn't seem to be, but I feel like they weren't supposed to be like these huge reveals. Like the huge reveals in the story weren't ones that I knew about already, if you know what I mean. I ended up giving that book a four star. I really loved it so much. It just wasn't giving me that five star feeling, but I mean, a four star is a really good book. I feel like if I wasn't reading so many other books at the same time, I would have flew through it a lot quicker. Yeah, I was just really satisfied with the reading experience of Legendary. As I said, I just didn't know how I was going to feel going into it. I enjoyed Caraval, but I definitely enjoyed Legendary a lot more. And there is that kind of thing with second books where they can be really, really hit or miss. Like I loved The Ballad of Never After. That is like my favorite one in the series. And I'm, I really enjoyed Legendary. But talking about second books, we, or we, I started, no, I didn't start. I continued reading Reckless and I am still trying to get through this book. I think I'm maybe 70% through this one right now. And oh, I'm not gonna lie, it is dragging in. Like I am not overly entertained. I would say maybe in the last like 5% of the book that I have read, it has been the most entertaining out of all of the book because we're getting some little reveals and the plot is starting to thicken a lot more. I do think that people are saying the ending of this book has like a twist or like a big reveal that makes you wanting to read the next book or something. I have no idea how this one's going to end but uh, it's just really really like meh for me right now. Like I feel kind of bad because I loved Powerless so much and I loved Powerful and I really feel like Powerful could have been a book and this could have been a novella. Like I actually think this would have made a really good novella because it is set I guess in a short period of time and like it's not doing a lot for the plot if you know what I mean like I feel like this book is very much a filler and I just feel like if you're gonna do a filler book it should be a novella it shouldn't be you know like well, how many pages is this like 400 pages like it's just it doesn't need to be this long her writing in it is nice and she does like really gorgeous descriptions of things but I just feel like it's making me cringe a little. And I don't know if that's because I'm just not enjoying the plot, like the romance in it. This feels like a romance with a little bit of fantasy. Like reading this book, I don't feel like I'm reading a fantasy. However, I do love the characters in the story. So that's the only thing that's really like pushing me to read it because I do really want to read the third one. And I'm convinced I will love the third one, hopefully. But yeah, this book has just fallen flat for me. And I'm very disappointed by it, but I do want to continue reading it. I will hopefully finish it today or tomorrow. I might even audiobook the rest of it, but yeah, that's just how I'm feeling at the minute. Like, I do think it's kind of sitting on a very low three star or like a 2.75, which literally feels insane to say because this was one of my most anticipated reads of the year. So it's just, yeah, it is crazy to think that, but I have no idea how it's going to end. So I guess that's what my rating will really be based on once I finish it. 
like just how everything kind of wraps up but yeah hopefully I will mention in another video how I'm feeling about this book whenever I do finish it. I also listened to two books as well and I really feel like the audiobooks were pushing me through this video like I really enjoyed them I just feel like I was getting in a little bit of a reading slump with Reckless and I just wanted to listen to something instead of like pick up a physical book and I do think audiobooks are you know almost better sometimes to read depending on what kind of style of book you're reading and the first one that I went into was what was it called? What Lies Between Us by John Mars. I so easily forget titles of books and like names of people in books it's nothing to do with the book at all I just for some reason can't hold information like that. So What Lies Between Us is a thriller and I have read one of John Mars's books before called The Passengers and I absolutely love that book so much like it's the book that really got me into thrillers so I was excited to start this book. I looked it up on Goodreads and I got like a high score as well so I had high expectations for it and the whole audiobook was done so well like I loved the voice actors in it and I just felt like I was immersed in the story the whole time. We kind of discover in the first few chapters of the book that well we get two points of views so we get the mum and the daughter and there's also past and present timelines and we quickly discover that the mum has been locked up held hostage by her daughter in their house in the attic so we are basically trying to understand how they have both gotten to that point and I don't want to give anything away because I went into this book completely blind and I really enjoyed it. I will say I guessed all of the plot twists very very early on but it still didn't like ruin the story for me at all and I don't know if that's because it's an audiobook and I like listen to it as an audiobook. That might be different if I like physically read the book. It was entertaining to listen to but again I can't really say if it would have ruined it for me if I was reading it but I did give that book also a four star. I just really enjoyed it. I think I needed something like a thriller, like I needed something to keep me like on my toes almost and something a little bit exciting, thrilling and it just delivered what I wanted basically. I also started reading this book physically. I think I got about halfway through and then I decided to listen to it only because I was doing quite a lot of like deliveries and work this week so I just listened to it while I was doing those because I was able to and then I realised that I really liked the audiobook because this book is based in France during World War II and the actors like during the audiobook had French accents and I just really enjoyed like the whole like I don't know it just felt very immersive because each person had a different accent I just kind of felt like you were there but in this one we are basically exploring how the women were dealing with life as the Germans took over France and their husbands were sent off to war or the concentration camps and not sent off to war they were sent off to like concentration camps basically and yeah it's just through the women's perspective on how they are dealing with the day to day and we get the perspective of two sisters and they're very very different one of the sisters is a mum and she just wants to survive this war and the second sister wants to like fight against the Germans like she wants to help the like British airmen like get to safety and she just wants to like fight against them and it basically just shows the side effects of how different women lived during this time it was obviously such a devastating heartbreaking time so it was just really interesting to see different point of views during it and we also get to see some of the Germans and how they were like forced to you know do what they were doing and yeah I just found the whole thing really really interesting. I do recommend this book a lot but it is quite a hard read at some points like I did find some parts of this book quite boring but it is a historical fiction and I feel like you can't expect entertainment all of the time but I don't know it took me a little bit longer to get through this one I mean not too long but I did really enjoy it I found it very impactful and I feel like the characters are real in this story and I also gave this one a four star I feel like this video has a lot of four stars are they all four stars I'm just I mean reckless it won't be a four star but in this video from the books that we read I think I gave all four stars so it was a very successful reading week I honestly did think that I was going to read like physically more books this week but I am really happy to be kind of out of my life slump I guess and I was almost in a reading slump but I think that I kind of got myself out of it with the other amazing books I read in this video so 
that brings us to the end of this one and if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one very very soon I am not gonna like not post for that long again that feels criminal I felt really bad so I will definitely be posting more regularly so I will hopefully see you in the next video 